afternoon everybody and welcome to Juggling January episode 7. Seven is my lucky number so I got a good feeling about this one. So I've got you on a little setup as you can probably see we've got the filming light out. Now I don't really get my filming light out much so it's a bit of a situation today. Not really. <laughs> Basically we're just going to be getting ready but it's very grey outside so I need a little bit of light because otherwise I look like, let me show you, let me show you the difference. That's what we got. I think we prefer the light. <laughs> so basically I'm going out tonight and I thought it'd be quite nice to do like a full get ready with me. So we're thinking, I need a shower. I'm going to show you what products I'm using at the moment on my hair. My hair routine. So I've got like a brand new sort of hair care, hair styling routine. Now I've got shorter hair. So I'm going to show you that. Makeup obviously, although I'm not the greatest, but outfit all of it so basically i'm going out tonight it's my management second birthday absolutely love my management they're called 16th they are absolute babes and i'm so excited just to let my hair down have a few drinks and just chill out have a nice eve have a drink or three maybe a prosecco if i'm feeling a bit fancy i'm gonna keep it nice and chilled nice and chatty and it's gonna be lovely but basically i am getting ready a little bit earlier than i need to because usually when i do these get ready with means i get so late so fast and then I miss miss the event so <laughs> that actually happened once I'm just actually gonna pop in the shower because I've still got my gym kit on I've just been to the gym I need a shower I need a hair wash I need it all I need a nice nice cleanse so I'm gonna bring you into the bathroom actually we're gonna take you off the profesh the profesh lighting so let me take you I just want to show you some of the products that I have recently been using. So at the moment I am still experimenting a lot with my shampoo and conditioner. I've chatted about this a bit but I at the moment have quite, well the thing is my hairdresser says my hair is fine but I feel like it's not in the greatest condition. So I am weekly, I'm not obviously going to do it today, but weekly I'm using my Olaplex treatment number three. I know you guys said when I mentioned it in one of my recent vlogs that it's just the best. I've always used it but I haven't always been regular with it. So now I am regular doing my weekly masks so it's great not doing that today though but if you know me these are my usual shampoo and conditioners now I am currently actually trying out a few new ones not that there's anything wrong with these but I just want to kind of use a slightly higher end one to really help my hair I basically use these because they're extremely delicate and um, I was getting quite bad skin around my forehead on my hairline and I wasn't sure whether it was my skincare, whether it was my hair care but when I used this it did help and I guess I got a delicate scalp so yeah I have been using them for a very long time now but you know it's always good to change things up as well so I did go on Cult Beauty and order a few bits now do you know what I've done? <laughs> I thought I ordered a shampoo and a conditioner now on Cult Beauty when I ordered almost all of the conditioners were out of stock so I basically ordered this shampoo which is the Kevin Murphy Angel Wash. And also the other thing I want to help with my hair is hopefully trying to give it a thicker look because my hair's extremely thin. I've got some extensions around the front to thicken it if you don't already know. I want to try and like give it a natural thickness if I can. And that's another reason I'm changing my shampoo conditioner to hopefully do that. So apparently this one's volumizing shampoo for fine dry or colored hair. That's all me. So <laughs> I think it's going to be good. I haven't been using it very long yet, but we shall see. That's the one I'm using today. I did also try to order the matching conditioner, but they'd run out of stock. So I went to look at the Purology section because I know that Purology is really good as well. And I accidentally ordered the shampoo as well. So I thought I ordered the conditioner. So I thought I had a Kevin Murphy shampoo and a Purology conditioner, but I didn't. I ordered two shampoos. So I'm currently waiting on, now this has come back in stock, the conditioner to match this. I will use this one too, because I know it's very good so yes that's what I'm going to use today and also the other thing that I am testing out I don't know how much it's going to work but I used to use this when I was really young it's the hair growth by Lee Stafford and basically you put it on in between your shampoo and conditioner and it's supposed to help your hair grow not that I want to have long hair just want to help my hair in general grow nice and thicker as I was saying so trying this out as well I'm doing it probably like every other wash we'll see so I'm gonna do that I will see you afterwards when I'm all shampooified and clean and all sweaty and ugly and I'll see you then. <laughs> right, I am out of the shower. I'm feeling much more refreshed, much more cleansed, much more wonderful. I currently have my towel on the head which I'm gonna actually take off now. So I think what I'm gonna do please excuse the hair. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is start by drying my hair, then doing the makeup and the face I think 
and then we'll do the curls. That's what I'm thinking. Also, I did actually write on my Instagram yesterday if there was anything you guys would like me to chat about within this video, just just to make it a bit fun, you know, a bit chill, just, just like casual chat. And um, quite a few came up, so I think we will answer some of them when we do Probably the makeup, because you're definitely not going to hear me over the hairdryer, so we'll do it then. Before I dry it, I'm actually going to use a product that I find is the best thing. If you have flat, dull, lifeless, I sound like I'm in a hair advert, <laughs> hair, like me, then this is your babe. So this is the Catwalk Root Boost Spray. Now, I put this on after I've brushed through my hair, get a little section like that, whap it out, and then it's kind of like a mousse, so you just want to spray it along your hair line like that and then I kind of pick up another bit a bit lower get it on there as well and then a bit lower again there as well now this bit I very much need it because I'm a flat back head is it a crown that's the one I'm a crack I got a flat crown <laughs> so I just put like I do about three layers each side just to kind of basically when you dry it then it just has a lot more oomph to it because my hair is just one of those hairs that's poker straight thin, wispy, all the bad thin words you can think of in the hair. Limp, all of them. Other than that, I'm just gonna pop a little bit of my GHD heat protection spray on as well, and then we're gonna get dry. Now when I dry, I have been attempting recently to try and do the kind of roll under thing. I bought myself one of those round brushes, didn't like it, so um, we're just gonna kind of rough dry today. I do sort of get the brush a little bit and go down, try and get a little bit of a oomph to it, but I'm not the greatest. Come home with me tonight, run away with me, it be worth the time, run away with me, i make you feel alright, run away with me. Right, I am dry, and as you can see, my hair is, as I said, poker straight, look at that. Look at that, it just looks like I straightened it. Did nothing. Very irritating when you want to have curly hair, but I feel like that's the case. If you have curly hair, you wish you always had straight. I'm straight, always wish I had curly. Very much wish. Anyway, I'm gonna move on to my skin now. So, before I start my makeup, I'm just gonna pop a few bits on. So first of all, I'm going to mix my Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer. Now this little guy is absolutely glorious for making you look glowy under your makeup. And then this one has a similar effect, but also has SPF. So I'm gonna mix these together, pop them on, it's a good day. So the next little prod I'm gonna put on today is my usual by Terry CC Serum. Now this is the key to a glowy skin, I really, really believe. As obviously as well as your foundation, which I'll show you in a little bit, which is, I just like low coverage glowiness. It's just a bit of me. I don't really like the matte look. I like a glow. Now this, this little guy is absolutely fabulous. So this is mainly what I wear just day to day without any makeup on top. But you can also wear it under your makeup and give you a bit of a glow. It's like, it's, it's got a little bit of a tan in it as well. It's just fabulous, I absolutely love it. We know this, if you've been here a while, we know how much we love it by Terry CC Serum. I use the shade Sunny Flash, absolutely love. I will link everything that I use today in the description box. Love it. So, before we move on to the makeup, I thought that I would have a little look at my cues and have a little chat before we start. So, someone has said, why aren't you in Sydney with Gymshark? So, this is a question that I have got quite a lot recently. I actually, for, for certain reasons, I couldn't go. I really wanted to go and I was really sad that I couldn't go. And I'm so sad not to be there with all the Gymshark guys because I absolutely love them. I will explain more soon, but I couldn't go for a certain reason, so. Just so you know, I'm really sorry if you wanted to see me and you're in Australia. I hope I can go there soon. We'll have the best time if you're going to the pop-up. Um, well, actually, will it have been? Probably have been. We might be there now. <laughs> I don't know. I can't remember with the time difference as well. But um, if you do go, I'm sure you'll have the best time. I mean, Whitney's there, Nikki's there, Robin's there. They're all babes, so you'll have an absolute blast, I'm sure. So, to start on the makeup, let's get started and we'll do some more cues. So I'm gonna start with my foundation. Now this, I think, is the greatest foundation. I feel like I've got lots of my friends into it. It's just the greatest. I don't know how I discovered this. Did I discover it from someone? Maybe I was just mooching around Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Light Wonder by Charlotte Tilbury. I use the shade seven. You know what, it's just one of them. One of them goddess products, just like the CC Serum. 
it's a god. It's just incomparable. I mean, <laughs> it probably is lots of nice ones as well as this, but I just am a sucker for when I find something I love, I just never change it. But you know, <laughs> it is absolutely glorious. It's it's very low coverage. If you like high coverage, then it's not gonna be for you, but I just love it. You know a question that has come up so much, which always comes up, which I think is just so funny. Have you and Niall talked about engagement or marriage? Yes, we have. You know, it's going to happen when it happens. I think it will happen. I hope it will happen. I want to marry Niall. He wants to marry me. He's told me to. <laughs> so I'm sure it will happen when it's right and when he's ready. I have offered to propose, but <laughs> he's not interested. So, you know, we'll just see how it goes. I'm sure it'll happen at the right time and I'll obviously let you know if it does. It's all very exciting. We're buying a house together this year and I'm quite traditional so I don't really want to have a baby till after I'm married. I don't know why I'm traditional. I'm not really in a lot of ways but just in that way. So I know for a fact Niall very much wants a baby so I'm sure he'll propose to me soon. <laughs> we shall see. I will let you know if it happens. Also I am just popping on my Beauty Light Wand Easy Highlight by Charlotte Tilbury. Can you tell how much I love Charlotte? A lot. I'm a little bit cheeky with my highlight. I kind of use it as a concealer as well. I don't actually put concealer on myself. I used to, but I just got out of the habit. I'm not a pro at makeup. Put my hands up now. I just do things that I like on myself. And I know there's lots of ways you should do things, but I think just be you, experiment, get creative, and you'll be fine. <laughs> so I just basically pop some here, and then I'll just kind of drag it sort of up here and across, and then a little bit on the head, down the nose, a little bit on the chin, one of them. <laughs> Let's move along. Next up, we're gonna use a little bit of blush. Now, I don't actually use that much blush in the winter time. I use it much more during the summer, but I'm just gonna use a little bit. It's my Life's a Peach L'Oreal blush, absolutely love. And while we do that, let's do another little cue. So the one in front of me says, when you were at uni, how did you cope with deadline stress and anxiety with work? So as I've said a few times now, I did mention this in my Girl Talk video, that is exactly why I got into the gym. So I basically use the gym as my sort of escape to go and just do my thing. I mean, I was at music uni, so it was very intense with musicians and that was basically the only type of person. I mean, would you say they're a type of person? Probably not. No, you know what I mean. That was kind of my escape to just go and do my thing and just be around a different vibe and a different selection of people, I guess. And I really think that that's, that's a thing. You know, going to the gym, please excuse my very old brush. I have loads of new ones, but I still don't use them. So embarrassing. I've had this brush for about mm, eight years, long time. I use the gym as my de-stressor for sure. I like to keep on top of things by writing lists and just prioritizing things like that. But I do think go to the gym. At least your endorphins, it'll just, I just find it's the best de-stressor. That's my tip of the day. So I'm currently just putting on some bronze. So I'm using the Hula Benefit bronzer. So I've done my cheeks and I'm just gonna pop a tiny bit around kind of like my hairline and a little bit below as well. Let's have a little bit of a mooch around the face, you know? <laughs> I love the word mooch. I don't know if you've noticed, but I've started saying mooch all the time. I don't really know why, but I just think it's a good word. It's one of those good words like squish. That's another good word, isn't it? You know what question keeps coming up whenever I do these ask me a question things on Instagram? And I don't know why it does, but I feel like I need to address it. Do you think Gymshark plays favorites with their athletes? I don't know where this has come from, but I entirely disagree. Gymshark is a business. They obviously can't really do that. I mean, you may have a close relationship with somebody that you're working with, but they definitely can't play favorites. They're a business. They work they work as a business, they're professionals, they're absolutely lovely, they're the, the nicest staff ever. They do not play favourites and I don't know where that's come from. It's really annoying, I don't usually address things like this, but it's come up so much that I just feel like it's, I just, I just don't get it. Right, moving along to an eyeshadow now. <laughs> if you know me, eyeshadow is not my forte, so all I'm gonna do today and I feel like usually I just prefer it when I don't do eyeshadow, but I do want to do something. So all I'm gonna do today is actually use my bronzer on my eye and I might put a teeny bit of a sparkle on top. I love this palette. This is the Tarte Mermaid palette. Is that what it's called? Be a mermaid and make waves. <laughs> That's a good name. Maybe this one, it's called Champagne. It's got like a shimmer. 
so I think I'll do that and I'm gonna drag a little bit of the bronzer down below my eye because I think that looks quite nice when you do it about there let's try I won't be able to talk through this one because I need to concentrate right I think that was Yes, what we're thinking. I feel so proud of myself. Usually when I do these get ready with me's I do my makeup worse than I've ever done before because I think it's the pressure, but I think we're going all right today. What we're thinking? I'm feeling glowified and bronzed. I feel like I've done my makeup for the summer and it's January, but oh well. Um, so let's do another question. So, let me see. Someone said, you said before that you wish you had more girlfriends. Do you still feel that same way? I don't remember whether I said I wish I did have more girlfriends or just I was, I think I was just saying that I don't have that many. But no, I don't really wish I did because I think, I really noticed actually in the past year, the friends that I do have are just the best. They're the best girls ever. I mean, I used to have a huge, huge group of girlfriends back at home. And as I've got older, that's what I was saying. Like, I just don't really anymore. And I kind of felt like there was something always wrong with me. But to be honest, I think that's just life. It's growing up. You know, you don't have that close group of friends usually when you're older. I mean, some people do, but most people don't. And if you're the same, then don't worry at all. Cause you know, I can count my girlfriends on my hand, just one of them. And I'm totally okay with that now, to be honest, because ones that I do have, I can count on so much and they're just the best girls ever. And you know, I don't need 10 million friends. I'd rather have five fabulous ones. So, you know, I think as you get older, it's just normal and people just go their separate ways, don't they? And I'm sure I'll pick up new friends as I get older. Maybe when we move house and we live in more of a town, I might, and then, you know, when you have a baby, you get mum friends, you know, just life. So I'm all right with it. And you know, don't feel alone if you're the same. It's totally normal. Ooh. Ooh, this question I really want to answer just because I want to make this girl feel okay. <laughs> Would you ever get a boob job? I'm so insecure about my small boobs. No. I've talked about this so many times. I love my boobs. They're small and that's totally fine. I mean when I was younger again I did kind of always question it and I was like oh my boobs are small I want a boob job but I don't want a boob job at all and I think there's nothing wrong with a small boob. I mean, it's a boob, we've all got them. Before you think about surgery, if you are thinking about doing it, really think about it because you know there's a lot of research now on illnesses coming from boob jobs if you look at robin gallant's stuff she talked about it a lot because she had an illness from a boob job and she actually just had them removed and i mean it's, it's not going to happen to everyone i don't want to scare you if you have a boob job but there's a lot of talk about it now i don't really feel like i need one i mean i'm okay with who i am and there's things that i don't love about myself I, I actually do quite like my small boobs but there's things that i don't love about myself and none of us are going to be perfect but that doesn't mean i I want to surgically change it and the thing is I've always said this I said this in a video before I feel like if I ever had something done would my mum be like upset because I don't look like the girl that she made I don't know I don't want to offend anyone here who's had surgery I don't have anything against it but I personally just don't feel the need myself to have any. We're gonna move on to some eyebrows. We're actually quite far in. I'm feeling proud of myself. I feel like I haven't made any mistakes yet and I'm, I'm not blabbing too much. Next up, eyebrows. This is the palette that I use. It's the Ilia palette. Used it since I was about two. No, definitely not two. I didn't do my eyebrows when I was two. Since I was about 13, let's go with that. Although, I must say, when I look back at my videos this time last year, I used this so badly, but anyway. This is basically what it looks like inside, and this one is kind of like a waxy sort of feel. This is the only one I really use. And basically I just pop a little bit on the end of this brush. I, re I really don't like doing much with my eyebrows. I was thinking this the other day. Less is more with the brow, personally I think. I mean, some people are just pros at making their eyebrows look fabulous, but I'm not. So I just do a little bit. Basically I just try, I just brush this bit up at the top. Just add a little bit of definition along the bottom and then I'll just drag it kind of across and that's all I really like to do to be honest, except my spiky brow afterwards. <laughs> Don't forget him. Let's do another question before we do the spike. Who's your style inspo? This is a good one. So my style inspo I think comes from a few people. Now one I have to say, my best friend's Holly, I don't know if you know her, she's been in quite a few videos now but she has the best style. She just finds really kind of like unique pieces and makes them look really cool. I feel like she's such an inspo. I'll link her below, it's Holly Shearer but she 
She's, she actually had a fashion account for a while, but she didn't continue it. I'm really annoyed at her. I have to say, I absolutely love, at the moment, Emily Shack. I don't know if you know her. She did a collection recently within the style. She's so cool, and I just love her style. I'm trying to think who else I like, though. Do you know who else I actually really like? Emma Louise Connolly. I think that's how you say her name. Let me get her up. So Emma Louise Con Connolly is a model, but she's also Proud Lock's fiance. She has some really cool style. Now, when I say style inspo, I don't think I would particularly dress like her because she is like really cool and I'm not, but I just find her really inspirational. Just, you know, she just doesn't care. She's like, you know what? I'm gonna dress like this and I feel fine and I look absolutely glorious. So yeah, she's the other one. Anyway, let's do the spiky brow. So I'm just going to use, actually, do you know what? I just remembered, I ordered myself, I treated myself a new spiky brow. So when I say spiky brow, I mean brow gel. I actually tried to get the Anastasia Beverly Hills one because I've heard good things, but they were out of stock and cult beauty. So I picked up the Benefit 24 hour brow setter. Let's have a see, see what it's like. First time trier. I always like to go for the clear ones because I obviously don't like doing too much to my brows. So let's have a try. Oh yes, look at that spike. This is so much better than my old one. Absolutely love. This is gonna be a keeper. Look at that spike. Do you see that? It just spiked straight up there. Look at that! Right, so that is most of my makeup. I'm not actually gonna do my lip now because I want to do that just before I leave. But the combo that I'm going to use when I do, I don't know if I'll do it on camera, so I'm gonna show you now. So I am currently loving the Honey Love Lipstick by MAC. Absolute love. And then we've got the Stripped Down Lip Pencil. Kind of like a brownie nude, it's just really nice. And then I'm gonna pop on my Charlotte Tilbury Refresh Rose Lip Bath Gloss on top. Right, so I'm gonna try me a little bit quicker now because I realise that I've already done about 40 minutes of footage now. That's a bit much. So I'm just gonna quickly spritz on my All Nighter Urban Decray, Decray? <laughs> Decay <laughs> setting spray on my makeup. And I'm gonna quickly tell you how I like to curl my hair now. Because I have actually had quite a lot of you guys asking me how I'm doing my curls now that it's shorter and I have changed the way I, I do it compared to how I did before. And a new tongue. So, Niall actually very kindly bought me for Christmas this absolute baby, <laughs> baby, absolute babe of a tongue. This is the new GHD Platinum Plus Styler in the limited edition. Glacial blue, glacial. Look at this, look at how glorious this is. And also it's a straightener. It's just like, if you go on the GHD Instagram, they actually do so many cool things with this. I'm just gonna kill, but they do some really cool different different waves and stuff. Oh, apparently, I feel like I need to check my facts though. Apparently this actually adjusts its heat depending on how damaged your hair is which is quite technical, let me check. Yes, apparently it's actually true. It does adjust itself depending on your hair. How technically cool is that? I'm obviously gonna use my heat protection spray, so I'm gonna spritz that on. I actually like to put on a little bit of hairspray before I even curl because my hair is so soft and uh, kind of like, not soft, because it's not that soft, is it? It's so slinky <laughs> that it just won't hold a curl for very long. So I'm just gonna show you like one or two curls. Basically I do this in three sections. So as you can, well, this is very uneven. <laughs> as you can see, we have the lower section and then I'll take the top again and release like the middle section and then I'll do the top section. You'll see it through the time lapse, but um, that's just how I do it. It will be the same throughout. It's not that technical, but basically I do it in two parts. So let me show you. So we'll take it like this, give it a bit of a curl. So I'm gonna stop about there and then basically I'm gonna start again and go again. And I always leave the very bottom nice and straight. So it's kind of like a beach wave at the end. And obviously that looks quite curled right now, but at the end I'll give it a teeny bit of a brush through. I'll probably wait a little bit before I do so it can hold for a while. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. And I'll show you the products that I use at the end to keep it intact. Right, we are all 
curled. Now I do realise right now it kind of looks like spaghetti hair. Basically when I brush through it, I only slightly brush through it just to give it a little bit more of a natural wave. So I've made it nice and tight with lots of hairspray. And basically all I'm going to put in as well, I'm going to use some of this argan oil of Morocco oil on the ends just to give them a bit, a bit more of like a a moisturized feel. I mean, it's good for the hair, but it also just makes it look less dry, you know? Just pop it on the ends, smells lovely, love it. And then I'm also gonna pop in some of my Mermaid Waves Salt Spray by Tarte. Now, I'm gonna use more of this afterwards when, when I brush through it to give it more of like a messy look. But I'm just gonna use a little bit now just to make it even more solid. So, I think now I'm actually gonna have a little bit of a food break and I'm gonna be back in a bit to do the outfit, to do the finish of the hair, and have another little chat. Good evening, everybody. It's now been quite a few hours, and as you can see, I have drastically changed. So, I think I've decided on my outfit. You will be surprised to see, I've decided to put my hair in a bun. Now, I do actually need to sort it a little bit. It started to flop. Let me turn you around, let's show you a full view. So, I decided, and I kind of wish I did it on camera now, because I've just put it up, but basically I did just literally go like that and put a bubble on top and left these two bits down at the front. So it's quite simple, I have done a bun tutorial before in a vlog, but I might do another one soon. I think I'm going to keep it like this. I popped some hoop earrings in, I do need to clip up some baby hairs. I've popped on an In The Style top absolutely love if you see it's got a backless bit love it and then i've popped on some asos jeans i actually think i might change these to a different blue jean because you know when you've had a jean for a while and then you put them on and they just stretch too much it's one of them they're a bit too stretched now and then i'm going to pop these little guys on so these are a new heel i bought from misguided absolutely love backless heels at the moment i'll link them below if you do want to grab them i was debating wearing this this is another new top this was from misguided however the nips are out so i just can't i need some boob tape don't have any and then i think i'm going to take my starry stella mccartney clutch and a coat don't know what yet but yes this is the final product i've also put on my lipstick as well i just completely forgot to kind of finish with you and I'm really sorry about that but literally picked the hair up, spun it round, popped a bobble on, good to go. Although it is actually falling apart now so I need to sort it out. Anyway, that is my get ready with me I think. I think I've done everything haven't I? I'm ready. I am actually waiting now because my friend Annie is coming around. You may know her, she has a YouTube and an Instagram, I'll link her below. I absolutely love Annie and she is managed by the same management as me so we thought we'd go together because we're friends anyway, absolutely love her. I'll show you her when she comes in, actually I won't end yet. I won't make it easy for you now up my time and I don't really break too easily but I'm worth it cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight oh so give me so give me your all I'll take it I'll take it to Mars oh I'll stick like glue inside your mind just watch me break in your sweet going on? <laughs> Come on, give Dad a kiss. Come here. Come here. <laughs> so, we are finally home. And I'm feeling a bit worse for wear. I must say, I've had a Prosecco or three, so. <laughs> I look like the Lion King as well. Look at my hair since it's come down from the bun. Look at that volume. Now that is volume. I look like Sandy gone wrong. Look at the volume in my hair now. No. I think I'm going to leave this video here. I really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much if you watched it. If you enjoyed Juggling Jan, I'm loving Juggling Jan. I feel like today's Juggling Jan was a little bit different, but you know, it's still a little bit of a juggle. We're juggling through on the Prosecco. <laughs> I look ridiculous right now. What is this hairstyle? I look like I'm from the 60s. <laughs> anyway, I will hopefully see you in episode 8 on Tuesday. 
What's it going to be? I think we're going to do some form of a workouty one, actually. Please let me know if you have any questions about anything that's on my face. I mean, I'm not looking too shabby right now. But I think earlier, I, quite, I, I felt proud of my makeup. I think I was, I'm feeling quite like, I've learned quite a bit this year. What we're thinking, look at the eyes. They're looking a bit Proseccoified right now, but I feel like I'm, I'm getting there. I'm getting somewhere. <laughs> I don't know if it's there, but it's somewhere. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching. I will hopefully see you in the next one. And I hope you're having a lovely day. Happy January. Oh, oh, I've got a blue bell bun in my face. That is absolutely fabulous.